All right, friends, how are you today? Aaron Michael Eschenberg here bringing you some honest astrology for July 9th, 2019. We've got a big day ahead of us. Mercury is full on in retrograde. All right, we've got the moon in the later degrees of Libra here, middle to later degrees of Libra, forming a T-square. Let me show you. Because actually, this is really cool because our T-square from yesterday shifts to today. Watch this. So this is yesterday, right? So we got the Chiron, Venus, Moon, T-square. All right, now the, the fulcrum point here, the, the balancing point, is Venus. This was, this was the 8th. And now on the 9th, the Moon becomes our fulcrum point. The Moon is the balance here. As, as we're going in between, all right, there's a lot going on here. We have the Sun and the North Node, and we have Saturn and the South Node. It's 17 degrees. This is exact. 17 degrees, this is an exact Saturn conjunct the south node. This is an exact Sun conjunct the north node. And then we got the moon right in the middle of the two, saying, look, we have to be diplomatic. We have to think about other people. And then when we're doing this, as you can see this quincunx here, that 5 12 aspect, okay, that's the annoying aspect for our own growth, for our own subconscious growth, all right? You know, it's like we have to think of others in order to really get where we're going, okay? So so yesterday was like, Venus was the fulcrum point. Venus was the center of this T-square, saying like, hey, you gotta follow me. What what I need is really important here, and that's to be down, it's to be emotional, not to be down, but to like come down to a place of emotion, not this place of like high ego, or you know, uh, just talking out of our, you know, just talking out of one end. It's just like, no, this is very real. This is very, um, emotional, this is vulnerable, this is open, you know. And we also have the Mercury retrograde, okay? So the Mercury retrograde is, is right now it's in Leo, going backward into Pisces. So this is like the full, the first like really full, full on day that it's Mercury is going backwards. So let me show you this chart again real quick. All right, now yesterday station, to gra station retrograde, okay? And now look at that, 426. Now we move into today, 421. Now we're already moving backward. The Mars conjunction, Mars is now ahead, pulling the weight, okay? And like we talked about, all right, Prometheus, if you, if you follow your Greek mythology, Prometheus is, is the one who stole the fire from the gods to give to man, okay? Now anytime we see one of the three personal planets, Venus, Mercury, and Mars, I don't know about Mars, but really Venus and Mercury. We uh, we consider this the act that Prometheus act because because Mars just kind of goes and does his own thing. Where where uh, Mercury will stay within thirty degrees of the Sun, and Venus stays within sixty degrees always. Okay, so Mercury is always within thirty degrees of the Sun. Do, 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 do. Venus has a sixty degree play. Mars just gets to go. Mars is you know the angry wanderer, our leader, just does what his own thing, you know, he's like, all right, bud. So like we talked about the other day, you know, it's just like, we're going blindly into this. The sun is behind us. The light is behind us. We're going blindly trying to give this light to others. Okay. So it's like, we don't know exactly where we're going. We don't know how we're going to get there, but we have this, we have this urge. We have this gift, this golden light that we're trekking into the unknown the you know, adventuring into the unknown to bring this light, to light up the world. Because it's like these shadow places, they're not that scary once we add the light into them, right? So it's like our own, our own subconscious mind, we're kind of going into these shadow places. And it's really going to come up in the next couple of days when the moon moves into Scorpio, right? The underworld, okay? Going to be hanging out with Hades. So a lot of Greek mythology today. Uh, so right, that Prometheus aspect is like we're giving the fire to the people. So it's like we're we're ahead of the sun. We're ahead of the gods. We're ahead of you know. We're in no man's land. We're moving forward, and now it's like the chains are saying, "Come back!" You know, the gods are reeling Prometheus back and chaining it down. And against the Greek mythology, what happened is uh, Hercules. Hercules came and freed. Um, Freed Prometheus. All right. Anyway, so just some fun mythology. But what's going on is Mercury's going back to the sun. It's like it's it's retrograding backward. It's going to go get that more fuel. The, the sun's going to merge ahead of the ahead of Mercury. Now Mars is mer merged ahead of Mercury. Okay. So it's just like our our 
like leader, our planet of action, you know, the foot on the accelerator is Mars. Mars is trucking into the unknown, and it's got its, it's like, I'm out of the water sign, baby. You know, I'm, I'm in this fire, Leo, hot energy. Let's go. You know, it's just like, we are walking, you know, we're fire walkers now. We're no longer swimming, you know, through murky waters. You're walking on these hot coals. It's, let's go. You know, so Mars is in full-blown go mode. And it's just like, what is Leo? Leo is, the, you know, the fire of the sun, our own personal creative self-expression. And with Mars being our planet of action, it's just like we have no problem right now accelerating. We have no problem right now pushing ahead of whatever's going on in our lives to just follow through, okay? The best thing I could say about this Mercury retrograde, well, there's a couple. <laughs> One is like, we haven't learned the lesson, okay? We wanted to skim over the lesson. That's the beauty about the Mercury retrogrades. It's like we want to skim over some of these lessons. It's like when we hit all of this water energy, when Mercury passed through the North Node, and saying like, look, let's come down here. Mercury's like, yeah, okay, I got it, I got it. You know, like I'm the messenger of the gods, dude. I've got things to do. I'm, you know, I'm swimming through this and I'm going. And it's like, yeah, but we really need you to understand this here. Mercury, you know, Hermes, we need you to understand this lesson before you're just going, just going gone. You know, you're the fastest little planet in the solar system, but we need you to really grasp this authenticity. We need you to grasp this concept of not just zipping around and the flight of conversation, but to be emotional, you know? The emotion comes first. Interestingly enough, I, you know, religion and astrology, I mean, astrology, come, let's go back to Hercules. Hercules had, what, his 12 obstacles, 12 tasks he had to overcome, right? As, as, uh, as, we find this number 12 through all, you know, through Greek mythology, we find it through Norse, we find it through uh, Egyptian. It's just like these number 12s through, through Christianity, you know, the 12 disciples that Jesus, the Son, traveled around with. So we have a lot of, uh, you know, astrology and religion really ties hand in hand throughout the history of time. Um, and if you go back to Genesis, the very beginning of the Bible, and it talks about God breathing across the earth, but the earth was only water. It's very clear on that, which is a very interesting thing. So it's like, first we have, and I'll go to the chart here. First we have the water, okay? Then we have the earth, the Capricorn, okay? Water, earth, water, earth. This came first. The emotion came first. So today it's interesting that we have this you know, this balance between the two. And Saturn is considered Kronos. You know, this is Father Time, okay? Mother, Mother Earth, Gaia, the water, this, this emotional body, okay? Gave birth to Uranus, created Uranus, okay? Uranus is over here, the creator. And what happened? Uranus and Gaia made some babies, which was Kronos and a bunch of other Titans. And the Titans were uh, kind of held down and, and, and uh, buried away inside of Gaia, except for Kronos. And Kronos came out and killed Uranus, right? And then what happened? Krona, or Uranus, like a spirit came back and told Kronos, hey, you, you know, the blood of your father is on your hands. The blood of your father is on your hands and the same is going to happen to you. This is karma, okay? So what did what did Kronos do? Every time Kronos had a child, he ate him. All right, in mythology, he would eat the children, and then his wife, uh, Freya, Rhea, I'm, I'm failing some things here. Uh, you know, she was she was heartbroken by this, so she she'd fed him some rocks and gave birth to Zeus down in the earth. All right, so what had happened? So now Zeus comes back and kills Kronos. This is karma. What happens? comes back. You know, whatever you did comes back around. So why am I telling you all this mythology stuff? Because it's important. As, as Saturn is connected with the South Node right now, karma, the, the, the father of time, the Lord of law is connected with the, you know, the end of the dragon's tail. We're not headed here. We're headed to the emotional body, the very first part, this, this uh, the lack of, lack of uh, structure, okay? Just the emotion, the water, saying we got to let go. We got to let go 
of the law. We gotta let go of the order. We have to let go of this crazy structure. We have to let go, I don't know about letting go of karma because it's something that doesn't happen, you know, um, or, or freeing our karma. How can we free our karma today? There we go, okay? Because where we're going here is the sun connected with the North Node. This is such a powerful day. This is such a powerful day. And again, the moon is our balancing, like the compromise between both parties. You know, it's not the humans, it's not the gods, it's not the titans or the demigods. It's, you know, it's not the, the structure. It's not the lack of structure. You know, it's being diplomatic, it's being compassionate, it's being in the middle. <laughs> you know, the balancing scales of Libra, justice. And then we can cross that bridge to our own expansion, okay? That, that, is, that is our day. So we've got Mercury going retrograde, Mercury is retrograde, going back into the water, back, 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 back into the water, saying like, look, you just wanna skim through this and say like, okay, I learned my lessons, but we didn't, okay? And I'm, I'm not telling you you didn't learn your lessons. This is a reflection. That's all astrology is, is a reflection. So it's just like we as a whole have not learned our lessons. Those lessons are to be more emotional, to be more authentic, to live more in that heart space, to communicate in a place of vulnerability, not stubbornness, okay? That's that earth sign stuff. The earth sign stubborn, water, flows, water moves, water is moldable, earth crumbles, not water, unless you freeze it. I always got to throw in the paradox somewhere around there, but you get it. You get this day. This day is like, hey, what can we do to release our karma? Can we, re do we, do we reach out? Do we reach out to somebody? You know, do we, we, we have our own quantum entanglements, you know, so it's up to us as we're in charge here. Let's go back here, you know, this... Chiron, Chiron, whatever, which is also stationed retrograde. So this is about to move backward right now. Leaving the only planet that's not going to really be retrograde as far as the big ones is, is Uranus here. Okay. So it's like this, you know, we want to heal. We want to heal self. We want to learn all these valuable lessons. And we have to do that by just sinking to the bottom, by being emotional, being vulnerable, by being diplomatic, by caring about what other people think, by, by caring not just what they think, but how they feel. You know, hey, how did what I do hurt you? How did what you do hurt me? You know, did I over, did I overlook this? Did I overstep something? Did I maybe take your silence hurtful toward me internally, but you were just dealing with something over here and maybe I, I misjudged this. The only way to figure that out is to communicate, you know? So it's like, okay, let's bring the communication back to the bottom, the bottom of the zodiac, cancer. Let's get to the bottom, let's sink down, Let's be emotional and just talk about it, human to human, demigod to demigod, all right? <laughs> titan to titan. That's our day. So we got this retrograde happening for another three weeks. This is a beautiful alignment of releasing our karma today, releasing our karma, okay? So whatever ways that you can act to release your karma, whether that's a, you know, a phone call or saying something to someone personally, um, you know, it's your life. This is your reflection. So you get to decide on however you're doing it. How are you releasing your karma today? Is it doing good deeds? You know, is it like, yeah, if, if the sun here is the light and the North Node is telling us where to go about being, you know, compassionate, about being authentic, about being emotional, about being vulnerable, about being open, being moldable, you know, if that's, the, if that's, this is where the sun is, it's like, okay, well, what, what here, what is the message here? Can I do something? Is it simple as opening a door? Is it as simple as just saying, hey, I like your headband? You know, uh, what is it? It's up to you. It's up to you. This is the re release of your karma today. This is your quantum entanglement or lack thereof. So... Have a really beautiful day, my friends. As always, thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you appreciate this stuff, give it a like, a share, a subscribe, whatever. You know how this stuff works. Thank you as always. We'll see you tomorrow.